It's the 99th episode of the Elite Cosplay Podcast. I'm Holly. And I'm Kevin. Hello. We're back again. Are we? <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh, just, I'm here. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> just an FYI. Um, Whose car the, is this? The, what? Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> oh. Uh, the plugin we use to get our podcast onto iTunes or the Android equivalent uh, broke our website. So um, we're trying to figure that out right now. So there's probably going to be a delay between our YouTube podcast and the uh, phone podcast. Just an FYI. Um, we're trying to fix it, but it basically made our site like I couldn't even get in on the back end to like make a post on our website. So we had to um, put it down. <laughs> put it down. So graceful, huh? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes. So hopefully we'll get that back up soon. But that's just a a quick temporary FYI. issue that we yeah. will get resolved here in the next six to eight months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's a lot of cycles. That's a lot of points for this sprint. Also, um, we said last week uh, we were opening up SakuraCon. Uh, photo shoot spots. They have now all been filled except for one which is day zero in the morning which probably won't i mean maybe but uh, hey, that's listen. not very it's not a very desirable spot do you have thursday off do you have thursday off maybe you you're like? local <laughs> who knows are you flying in on day zero at four in the morning <laughs> and landing at 4 a.m sure <laughs> why not you never know are i you mean day- we did we didn't do day zero last year oh uh but we did the year prior uh-huh. and and um Spots on day zero to get taken. Wait, what's this I hear about midday shoots? Oh, so <laughs> I wrote this on the on I every single time I make a announcement that we're going somewhere or something, there's a little line and nobody ever pays attention to it except for one person did yesterday and I was really surprised. Um it says on top of like the schedule Spaghetti, blocks. It's <laughs> all covered in cheese. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm feeling <laughs> spicy today. Kevin had a beer before the. I podcast. don't know what you're talking about. Just one? How dare you? Just one. Um, and it says it basically says if you want, because the shoots are uh in the morning and in the evening for optimal lighting, basically. Um, and I put that there. Excuse me. Um, because in the summertime when we like photograph in L.A. or or somewhere, you know, basically if it's sunny everywhere in the summertime, but. The midday sun is awful, and we used to do shoots midday all the time, uh, and those photos just wouldn't look as good as the ones done in the mornings or in the evenings. Uh-huh. Uh, but it, so I wrote, if you want to do a midday shoot, we can. Um, we can do like an indoor one if you want, but you need to provide like contact information. You need to find a location and provide contact information. So nobody really takes me up on that because it's it's definitely more complicated than just booking a morning or evening shoot right but we do have it there and someone someone finally did I don't, kevin didn't know i put oh. that in there because he doesn't look at it but someone did finally take us up on that and that was the first person ever and i think i've had that up for the past two years so <laughs> but like i said it's just usually we'll have a spot open so someone will just take the available spot instead right. of um doing a midday so it's not a big deal anyways um as some of you may know we haven't talked about this on the podcast but facebook changed their or is or i think they did already change their did. algorithm again um and basically makes uh facebook uh business pages uh get very more poor reach than they did that's more, a bad, more that's, better reach that's a bad sentence but <laughs> they they don't have, get the reach that they, they don't used get to. their how about that <laughs> i started talking and i was like words uh yes the reach has has been very poor lately sure. um and people are you know they're trying to find ways to combat it but it's not working and as some of you uh, if you've had pages the past couple of years, you've just seen it decline. Like when, when Kevin and I first made a league cosplay and I made a page, it was like, whatever, however many people liked our page is they like 90% of them would see they it. Saw it yeah. That's just how it was. It was just like another platform to put your stuff out there. And then, you know, 
as years go by, it just kept getting worse and worse. But it was always manageable. Right. It was always enough to get by on. Um, and this this recent update has made it pretty bad. Jessica Negri did a quick interview with Business Insider. I get this is a side note. I guess she has a documentary coming out. Ugh. I don't. <laughs> oh wait. Gosh, oh Kevin. sorry. Did I did I do that out <laughs> loud? I'm so, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, <laughs> See that just that just slipped right out of my mouth. Gosh. I, <laughs> but I feel like other people have that sentiment towards her too. No, I don't think really? anybody cares. I don't know. I don't care. Like, Listen, who cares? If who I cares? wanted, okay, <laughs> fine. Because this will loop back into the Twitch discussion that I wanted to have later. What IRL streamers? Yes. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm just gonna read some bullet points. Basically, um, Jessica Negri says she has 4.7 million followers on Facebook, um, and uh that her reach has been decimated decimated um she uh, says negri has felt the pain of facebook's algorithm shifts over the past year especially in reach a metric that refers to how many people see the post facebook my facebook reach has been decimated she said while negri has 1.2 million youtube subscribers far fewer on than on Facebook, it has been a more reliable platform. She said she had moved away from Facebook over the past year, and she and other top cosplayers have seen decreased reach with external links they post not getting the numbers they used to. Yeah, of course. This echoes the broad changes observed by online publishers, which saw Google overtake Facebook as the largest source of referral traffic last summer, which is pretty big because if Kevin and I look, or Kevin doesn't really look, if I look at our uh, Google Analytics for Elite Cosplay. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, like, a year or two ago, Facebook would give us a lot of inbound links, whether it was um, something we would post oh, on our so own or something, someone else or someone, something else. Some... Are you doing okay? Talk. I can't talk. Like, I think I'm getting a cold. I'd, like, keep, like, it's like a phlegm. And a... Okay. Um, yes. So I would always see you know m.facebook.com which sure. is the mobile facebook as as a huge um push on our on our analytics uh and i was kind of laughing because when we posted this occur on stuff i checked our analytics and uh i think instagram had more push than facebook did mm-hmm. which like blew my mind because instagram used to be really a it's hard to get li- clicks on in- from Instagram because there's right there's, there's no, no you actual URL. You can't link in the right. post. You have to get people to go to your profile to click a link, and it's sure. a whole other step that people don't want to do. So I was kind of I looked at it two days ago, and I was kind of laughing because I was like, seriously, <laughs> right? Um, she said, I noticed that videos in general are receiving much less reach than usual. It's concerning because a lot of people depend on social media to showcase their work and reach new audiences. Mm-hmm. Negri said it was too early to understand how the latest Facebook news feed shift announced earlier this month would affect her. Um, Yeah. Listen, you know what this comes down to? As she said, uh, what's more worrisome for Negri is the idea that the same thing has happened over the past... The same thing that has happened over the past year with Facebook is happening with Instagram, of course. which Facebook owns. Yeah. Um, and there was also around almost like days after people found out about the new Facebook algorithm, there was a new Instagram algorithm sure. uh, that was being released and it made your time. I don't call it a timeline, whatever your timeline page more messed up. And, and I think I've talked about this before. It's like when I go on Instagram, you know, Instagram used to do the, you know, time right it was yeah sequential and i like that because i could just i could like things you know that i see and i would like shuffle through and now i go through and i see things you know if i if sometimes i don't go on instagram for like two days in a row or something and i'll see something and it's on the top of my page and i'll like it and it's from like six days ago Mm -hmm. and i feel creepy and it's like i don't know listen if you (laughs) want time-based things that's snapchat right there in a nutshell, that's or now Twitter, and relevant. Yeah, Twitter gets a little yeah, funky yeah. sometimes, but Twitter's okay. I yeah. think Twitter right now is the only social media I use that actually is in is sequential. Chronological. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, I'm sorry. Chronological. Whatever. Anyway. In order of time. Yes, chronological. Um. Yeah, I can't think of words today. It's pretty Listen. bad. <laughs> but, but that's what I used to like Instagram for. It was just it was 
a place where you could see something as people posted it and now it's i'm like now hey, it's things I, that I you like didn't know you wanted to see posted six it's recommended six stuff that you think you would like to see supposedly there is i don't know if it's active yet because i i haven't seen it on my personal oh you have? have okay uh they will insert um posts from people you don't follow which is i think can be a blessing and a curse a blessing if you as the content creator uh, get pushed onto people's feeds and then they like you from sure. that sure. post but also as a consumer there's gonna be stuff where i'm like why i don't follow you right. <laughs> you know why are you on my instagram so it's a whole it's a it's a back and forth i go with with that aspect here's the thing this is the way it works here you can't pay facebook's tens of thousands of engineers nothing right you have to pay them something right and you using the product for free, you know, us, your mom, all of our parents use Facebook for free. Interject. They harvest our information. I they understand. learn how we think. They learn how we talk. I understand. And you know what? Uh huh. I've never been a person. I don't use ad block. Right. I've never cared about ads in my whole life. Right. Unless they literally prevent me from accessing a page when they like. Forbes. Oh. I'm looking at you. Yeah. Forbes. Pretty bad. Uh, there's some pages, even like our local news station. Like if I go on it on my phone, it's impossible on block, to get, and up. that yeah. that upsets me. But if there's an, like on Facebook timelines, if there's an ad, I don't care. Sure. I just like scroll, like I just keep going, and and that doesn't bother me. I don't care that Facebook. I'd say like their first couple of pushes were fine. I get it. They need to make money, so the reach would come down a little bit sure. to for to get you to post ads. But now it's to the point of where people don't even see pages on their timeline that girl i follow the artist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i realized because i was on twitter and someone uh retweeted her so i like you know i'd forgotten about her temporarily because i don't see her on my timeline i was like i follow her on facebook and i haven't seen a post from her yeah. in six months yeah That's and crazy and she you posts know, all the time she posts very regularly you can't Go around saying we make 40% year-over-year revenue increases without doing shit like this and making people pay. That's what it is. It's and insane. the problem is we all give into it. Like, you all fall for the... Y'all sheeples. Open your eyes. No, I'm just no, kidding. Just kidding. Uh, no, it's Kevin's just, kidding. No, <laughs> a little rantier. Here no, no, no. It's because... You know, people do these stupid contests that cost them nothing. Like, uh, you know, oh, you know... Follow and like my page and like this post on Facebook and be entered in for this contest to win this stupid thing, you know, because there's... We've done that. I know, <laughs> but but the problem is that's what is sparking this is because there's all these like weird arbitrary likes and stuff and then... So Facebook's trying to get people to stop that? No, they're trying to get people to pay for the reach now that they gained, right? Because they've these weird, these obscure pages have tens of thousands of likes now you know and people forget that they've liked these things and they only liked it because of the contest right they didn't actually enjoy the content right they don't care it i i don't know about that i think there is some degree of it like people I'm sure. I just enter contest and enter contest like and enter contest and then leave after the contest right. is done but no they just forget and they just they keep the, the but that the can't be this that's not that's like a tiny cube of it there's okay here's the thing thousands of other elements who to this actively went to say and we're not sponsored by any of this let's say coca-cola we're not sponsored by anything i know <laughs> Shh. But, but i'm just saying it because people think we might be plugging it but but like who actually went out of their way went to the coca-cola facebook page and clicked like and said yeah i want to see more shit from coke like like how many millions of followers yeah do they have? probably a lot all right how many do you think where let's, is this going sorry this is going to <laughs> why this this whole thing the platform change it's because nobody wants like i don't know i would not want to see an ad from coke and that's why i don't like their page or anything like that i i only like the pages that like i have probably 100 less than 100 things that i like on my facebook yeah and that's fine so what's the point but my point is is like it's these massive companies that have multi-million dollar marketing budgets so you're saying that they it doesn't affect them because they can just keep paying for right for exactly likes, and then basically. but then it hurts the little guy right the and then facebook business. is like oh you know coke gives us a hundred million dollars a year in marketing budget right so they're like all right let's focus it and then they're the coke's probably making like these demands they're like listen you know we know we're paying for these reach but we're not getting the engagement that we want 
So like then they're tweaking their algorithm to target these multi million dollar customers. They're not worrying about you. They don't care that we give them. I mean, YouTube just did the same thing. Yes. All at the same time. These were all happening within a week of each other where YouTube demonetized small channels. Small channel accounts that weren't you oh, have wait. to get you have to have a certain amount of subscribers and then a certain amount of minutes watched or views. I don't remember what it was, but this was all happening at the same time and it was all hurting small people, small businesses. Yep. You know, not just cosplayers, a lot of other sure. people. Um, so I feel like people who are trying to use social media in general as a marketing tactic are feeling a little helpless right now. Right. Well, so you Especially have to, since you have to balance the exception it. of YouTube, Facebook owns everybody. That That's big right now. Snapchat is not a good marketing right. tool, so I wouldn't, I don't count that. So I wonder, you know, it's really hard to get out there now, but I wonder if another thing platform. is going to up another platform. And, it, but then in the end, it'll just happen again. But right. I don't know. There, I'm I'm interested in seeing the change. And like you kind of brought up with Twitch, I feel like some people think live streaming is the next thing, but it's really hard to do and it's very time consuming. Yes. Like social media is time consuming, but you can you can plan it ahead sure. and then live do your day sure live streaming is like it takes like like people have to stream for hours yeah you can't just anyways i'm done with this yeah anyway <laughs> uh if anybody's curious coca-cola 107 million yes that's Thank a lot you. of people you know i get ads for target because my friends like target right but i don't care that's what i'm saying like i don't know i don't know where i'm going with it i just don't care i just it, i if you look at our facebook we barely update it now I update it to make announcements, basically, because I know that it's useless. It's useless. And when we did the SakuraCon post just a couple of days, you know, whenever it was, I had to make it an ad because otherwise zero people would see it. And I get I've talked about this before. I get people all the time. I didn't know you were going to such yeah. and such. I didn't know you were in such and such town. It's because that's, I can't I can't get a hold of anybody. That's I can't. why I, I think <laughs> you know Twitter's okay in terms of chronological stuff, but you still have to do an ad to get all the reach, right? I think no, no. no. Okay, so, so the ads only Twitter influence ads, the last non, time I non followers. I think yes, I think it pushes into to Twitter ads are odd. Because this is why you should sign up for a mailing list. You can enter it in on the little sidebar on our website. We do have know. a mailing list. Um, yeah. That's and then when I always, we barely send out newsletters. It's usually when we're going to a convention or something. And then when I do send out a newsletter, we always get people unsubscribed. <laughs> and then I'm just like, oh. Um. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, yes. If you if you really want to see updates from us, and literally I will only email you, and we ask for your region, and we ask for your region because... It, I don't want don't, to yeah. email you about cons that is not are not in your area, and I know people travel, and that's difficult. But um, it's very. I think I spent. I sent out three last year, so that that yeah. indicates how often we send out newsletters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I'm moving on from this. I'm moving on. Let me if know. Let like, me know what you guys think about yeah, this whole thing. Um, I know a lot of people that I know are experiencing this, so let me know how you guys feel about the facebook and instagram stuff sure um and if you want to hear kevin rant about business let us know too and then there'll be a kevin business podcast what would it be called kevcast no Kevcast. bizcast with a k mm. you're like the kardashians mm. anything a k mm. um our favorite topic copyright yay <laughs> i should just go back and get a law degree in copyright I can yell at people all day. You know, Rebecca is pursuing her law degree. Maybe she'll have to take a copyright course and mm. we can pick her brain. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, so uh, this cosplayer posted an interesting post um, last week, and I thought it would be fun to talk about. It says, hello, friends. Today I woke up to an intellectual property strike against a photo of mine on Store Envy. I use Store Envy to sell photo shoot prints. I do not promote it very often, so I was surprised to see activity on my shop. Cartoon Network claimed an intellectual property infringement on a photo shoot I did with another cosplayer. We were doing a casual version of Marcy and Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time. I didn't have Adventure Time in the title or description. I actually labeled it as Casual Bubbleine. We weren't wearing the canon outfits either. 
I don't care to dispute the case, so I took it down to get my shop reactivated. Has anyone else had this happen today or recently? Um, and I thought that was interesting because, uh, you know, I've seen stuff with, with we've talked we, early on in the podcast. We talked about whether there would be copyright strikes against people selling made cosplays of a character. Right. Um, but we didn't, we've never talked about, I don't think we have ever talked about getting an infringement in a photo of that character. It's, it's okay. So I, I have some but issues I, with her statement already, our but, buddy, but let's our go. buddy Athena replied. So, okay. All right. Uh, and I think let's I, hear it. I screenshotted it. So I think I liked her response. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I read this. Uh, Athena says, I'm certainly no lawyer, but I believe that there isn't really a way to hold a copyright infringement on a character, look, or fashion design in general. Their strike only holds water if you use copyrighted words, uh, parentheses, names, or if they are recognizable logos slash flat designs. I know a few Portal cosplayers were having issues a while back because they had officially licensed Portal guns in their photos and the Aperture logo on their clothing in the background be in the background. Being a Portal cosplayer myself, I chatted with someone in the game company who handles copyright and had some of those things clarified. Um, and someone else said, can confirm that most costumes and clothing designs, logos, and graphic art elements withstanding are not protected by copyright. As a fashion designer, this hurts and helps us. So um, I think in the end, from what I remember in this post, uh, they figured out that they had found the Cartoon Network had found this photo because she had it in a tag. I think she had um, one of the names in a in a tag of the of the item, mm. and that's how they mm. found it. But and what Athena says makes sense. There are logos, flat designs. That's the key, yeah, right? Which there. are copywritten. But from what the girl was saying, it was just a cat. It was like a casual adventure right. time. So so it, it <laughs> would in theory fall like under maybe derivative work or something like that for fair use um i guess the only thing is she was selling the photos but to me it's just so like it's so deep it's a casual version so it wasn't even in the actual show right bubble lean too so so i I almost (laughs) feel like she actively was dodging like or she knew that it was possibly an infringement but i mean but but that's the thing a lot of no because i think it was the shipping name maybe is called bubble i don't know i i I don't know i'm making that up um (laughs) what sorry what i'm saying at what i'm getting at is a lot of other people do this like knock off stuff all the time it 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 skirts the line of copyright of course i mean when, when people do those princess parties they don't call them right. by the actual Disney names because they'll get in trouble. They right. call them like, you know, like mermaid princess. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, like, <laughs> red hair mermaid princess. Fish with, lady princess. Ugh, that's not attractive at all. <laughs> the word fish isn't very attractive <laughs> in general. Fish lady. <laughs> fish but uh, lady. it's just it was just so interesting to me because it seemed so minor and and I guess the only thing that they caught was was the fact that she tagged it maybe as Marceline or Princess Bubblegum in the tags and they didn't like yeah. that. No, but it's so weird because I, it's not, it's, you know what? So no, 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 that's, that's so it's, it was probably an automated script that did it. I, I would say she would have good grounds to fight it then in this case. Cause yeah. if, if it found it that way, that's how the bot found it. And, sure. the, and it's just like YouTube, you know, they just probably have a script that goes through, looks at things and it says, are they selling a product? Is it tagged or, you know, is it tagged or does it have, maybe some type of aspect to adventure time yes then the bot says right. send takedown order sure. it, do- it has no brain it doesn't no. care it just does i it. doubt there's a cartoon network employee that has to right. sludge through all this stuff right. to yeah. try to find it yeah um, well, but then again on the flip side i'm s- surprised i guess like that things on etsy get away with it you know etsy gets away with a lot like there's so much stuff on there that i see that i'm like how are you selling this how have you sold a hundred of these things yeah that is clearly their logo not your logo you did not create it especially with logos yeah oh i know i know i've seen some well i've seen a lot of football stuff and you know the nfl is like insane about that kind of crap yeah Yeah. so how is this not 
taken down. I know, I know. But then they go after this one cosplayer somewhere on store envy, right? <laughs> who does it? Who who <laughs> sold probably like five or ten prints? Sounds like I'm, she I'm didn't underplaying. Sell a lot of... I'm sorry. No, she said she doesn't. Oh, yeah. She said exactly. it wasn't really active. Exactly. So exactly. She doesn't... <laughs> That's the thing. It's, it's like they go for the stupid shit. And... <laughs> sorry for my language, but like there are people on Etsy that are selling hundreds of copies of things that are not <laughs> theirs to sell. But like you said, it's it's most likely a, a robot. Yeah. Doing it just so like it's YouTube. Not it's not it's everybody it's not judging you know yeah no <laughs> did you make two dollars on this or 200 right exactly it but i just care. i've never a uh, personally i've never heard of a cosplayer's uh yeah print getting taken down so i thought i screenshot it because i thought it was a really interesting thing to see um yeah i i think she has good grounds to fight it if she really wanted to but that, it doesn't sound you know like i don't know wants to blizzard probably wouldn't but you know like tracer and uh, diva have very big logos on their outfits yeah yeah um so i was thinking about that when that was posted because because athena brought up the portal sure. aspect with the gun um so i was kind of thinking about that but blizzard kind of seems to i don't well, know no, i don't no. know here's the but thing they seem well, to kind the, of encourage it right a lot of a lot of them is you know if you do this you're giving the big middle finger to your fan base right like like you can't. Oh, are you, <laughs> yeah. are you talking about the cosplayer? I was oh like, no, 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 no! It's the company giving the middle finger to the fan base. <laughs> like, if for Adventure Time, I see, I can see a lot of like knockoff stuff being made, right? Like, oh, oh I absolutely. This it's a hu- it was a, a huge show. Yeah, Princess Bubblegum, like the crown plushie, or, or the plushie stuff oh, sure, like that. Sure. It's just, and that's that's what I think this bot is looking out for. Is like, this is not officially merch licensed merchandise. Don't sell it. Like, that, I mean, again, this loops back to the RPF forums. It loops back to like, you know, you know, you're making a prop and you're gonna sell it, right? That's very gray area, right? I'm making, you know, like if I made a Han Solo blaster, Star Wars TM. This is an exact movie replica. That is a copyrighted design, technically, because they made that blaster. And if you make it to the T, to exactly what you saw on screen, you're violating a law at that point. That's interesting, especially with 3D printing. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, the... You know when I when I did the diva cosplay for Anime Expo, yeah. like we got the gun yeah. uh, from a three D print design, and then I just printed it at home on yeah. our three D printer. And I mean, it's not you know like we just literally talked about Blizzard doesn't really seem to be. I yeah. mean, they probably do, but they're not as active about it. I mean, I was able to make like almost a yeah, a, and if an exact the, the copy only of the only gun. part you would. Uh, get it really in trouble for is if you like put it on our website or put it on etsy and, like and called it, it diva overwatch <laughs> diva blaster yeah using all their names and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah. then we would probably get in because trouble because you're using that way to get right like the viewers exactly basically. even even though you know it was someone else's design you know even if we drew it ourselves if, you know we, if we made it the patches you know that vest yeah. i wore the patches I, I i bought them on etsy like i had yeah. someone make me those patches yep. and like the way I found it was literally typing in Diva Junker Pitch. Yeah. <laughs> like it came up. So I don't know. It's yeah. It's it's a Yeah. It, I think it, like it, someone said that for fashion, you know, for it this is the whole thing, it's a blessing and it's a curse. Yeah. Exactly. Anyways. I mean, like I said, it really depends on who's enforcing it at that point or who if they want to. And and you know, Blizzard doesn't want to give the big F U to their fans, so I can see them not really enforcing it too hard unless it's like a mass you know a, a plant in china be- that is making <laughs> sure, hundreds of sure, replicas sure, and then selling sure. it during halloween and saying here you go or selling them at cons and yeah and exactly saying, yeah. exactly that's the only thing they really care about uh, you know especially with overwatch they really they literally i they release those skins so people will cosplay them right like, that's <laughs> yeah and and in this case like i said if if this girl really wanted to sell her prints and really wanted to oh, pursue yeah, it she, she could, could go, go take back. A, f- a case and fight it but again it's money and resources that so she she was like i just i didn't care right, enough right. to fight it but she just was curious yeah. why it happened yeah. basically so she I would thought it was interesting. she's probably got a good okay case to fight so um for our last topic of the podcast or well, your last topic of the podcast oh no here, why don't you bring your thing up since I've I've brought up two. You got something? Oh, you got um, something for me? Um, well, this episode is brought to you by us. <coughs> oh, thank you, Holly. <laughs> You're laughing at me. I no, see. I was. I, uh, I if you'd like to help support us directly, please go visit our Patreon. Well, sorry, 
patreon.com slash elite cosplay yeah um, you can subscribe and you i get have behind the scenes stuff i have some things because we're going to fanime are we yes oh look at that see i learn and things every day i'm making a cosplay for fanime and uh-huh. it's going to be my journey to this cosplay i see okay i and got this idea when i was make making pants for you okay and i was having the worst time i hate you berta but i love you anyways or you can go to elite slash shop uh-huh okay and do it that way excellent yep. yes kevin wants me to write an ebook so sure why yeah. not about photography uh-huh yeah uh one last thing so we've talked about this topic before kind of um uh this cosplayer named uh he goes by valentine costumes i think he's out of the uk um i'm gonna just read this to you (laughs) it's not that long he says let's talk criticism or more specifically unrequested or unhelpful criticism first off i'll 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 start by saying i personally am always open to criticism of my work assuming that it's actually constructive if you write lol that material looks like shit you can go get in the fucking sea but a, but a helpful, I had a look at your reference images and perhaps a denim material might work better here will always be carefully considered by me and you won't come across as a complete oxygen thief. My lady. That being said, I've always been publicly open about being okay with feedback and suggestions on how to improve, but this does not apply to everyone. Most people have not asked for, nor do they want your opinions. They want to find their own way, make their own mistakes, and stand by their own choices. Maybe there's a reason they decided to do something a certain way that you don't know about. Maybe they're super anxious about putting a cost pu- about putting a costume in the public domain and would rather not get bombarded with unrequested criticism, especially publicly. When it comes to critiquing someone else's work, it's always best to err on the side of caution. Have they asked for help or feedback? If so, go ahead. If not, consider keeping your opinion to yourself. <laughs> Kevin's shaking his hair and is pissing I'm me off. So, right I'm so angry right now. Go ahead, continue. Are you kidding me? Yes yes go on i'm listening i'm listening to this guy's statement i I hear what he's saying he's saying that he doesn't like criticism okay or if you have something that's helpful considering dropping them a pn instead of being that person in their comments tldr remember rule number one don't be a dick yes fine i agree with that rule but this sounds like uh, a white knight sjw milady hat tipper right here listen you're putting yourself on the internet. So I'm I'm so angry at this guy. No, because Kevin, I'm going to interrupt you. Okay, all right. Because we've had plenty of people that we've taken oh. photos of uh-huh. that get unnecessary criticism. Yeah. Like, there's fine. no point. There's yeah. literally no point, and that's okay. what he's talking about. I, I understand. What is the difference between me saying what what he's saying and him being a guy and saying that? Okay, well, a, b- a bunch of things here. All right, so. You know, the internet is full of assholes, and that's the uh, that's a, the fact that we have to deal with, right? There's nothing you ca- you can do. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing anybody can, can educate do. people though. Some people don't realize sometimes, like like some people. There is a person I knew in junior high and high school, and she recently admitted to this on Facebook. She's very blunt, mm-hmm. and she doesn't mean for it. Well, in her head, she doesn't mean for it to come out as bad like she'll point out a flaw she'll just be like and you're like and i just remember being like what the fuck yeah (laughs) she doesn't everybody though there's no there was nobody that was immune to this bluntness and she's been trying lately she said to stop and i think some people you know some people are assholes they're just assholes and they're gonna do it no matter what you tell them right like stop being an asshole i don't want to hear from you that they're gonna do it on purpose to piss you off but there's some people that just say things and i think don't think about it and need to read stuff like this yeah okay fair enough fair enough but on the flip side you know you're posting your things on a public space where you have no control to regulate what is happening okay your personal, your 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 Facebook. Your page. Facebook, yes. People you can't regulate that. Well, I mean, you can block people and stuff like that, but then you're just kind of quelling, you know, the, what you know, you're you're not preventing anything. You're just reacting to something, right? So there's a part of me that wants to say, you know, be prepared for criticisms, be prepared for assholes. There's nothing you can do to change that. And yeah, you can say, I'd like to educate people, I'd like to help people, but 
you know, I I've seen it now. I'm I'm at the point in my life where I've realized that, you know, you just ignore these people. All right. The 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 feeling the reason this guy posted this is because he had his feelings hurt, right? And he was angry that somebody had said and not, you know, said something that was unhelpful. What was it? The LOL that material looks like shit, right? We get that hundreds of times a day on our YouTube videos. You know, it's just like, yeah, okay, these people are not useful and they're not providing anything. But once you've seen it a hundred times, yeah, it still hurts if you read it and it affects you personally. But what's this? It's just another face on the internet. Move on. I, 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 I know it's not easy the first time, and especially if it's like a personal attack right at you, you know, calling you ugly, calling you, you know, oh, your eyes are too far People apart. People call me fat all the time. On I YouTube. know <laughs> exactly. See, and then you just laugh it off. It's just, it's just assholes on the internet. What? There's nothing you can do about it. Like until we revolutionize the way that the internet works, it's just an anonymous name floating in the ether, saying being an asshole. Like it, it, there's, I, I don't think he's trying to. He's not trying to stop it because I don't think. I think everybody realizes there's no way to stop it, right? There's okay. always going to be someone who's a dick. And you're like, why are, Why do you care? Why are you looking at my photo so, then? Why do you need to comment okay. on my photo or my YouTube video or whatever? Is it just to make yourself feel good yes, about yourself? Yes, that's what... Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This Because what, what this post is, is a self-stroke. It's just like, mm, yes, I'm doing something. It's not it, It's not going to fix but anything. But we've talked about this before. We've literally talked about this before. About how we photograph people and they'll either comment on our photo or they'll comment, you know, they'll post our photo on their page mm-hmm. and they'll get unnecessary comments, especially if the, if the thing is, gets popular. Sure. Um, and it's just like, and we've said it before. I've, I've posted it on our freaking Twitter. It's like literally Thumper from Bambi. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. It's not that hard, nah. but. On the flip side, like Kevin is saying, there will always be somebody. There will you you can never block or educate everybody because there's always just some random poop hole yep. that comes out of nowhere, doesn't even like your page or something, you know, just yep. is from somewhere else. Passing, yep, just passing through passing here. through and feels the need to yeah. make you feel bad sure. about Here's- what you've made. And like I said, we get we get it. We get people who don't like that we charge for photo shoots that don't, don't like that i'm asian there lots of lots of weird like stuff out there i'm not super skinny yeah. i don't know yeah but it's and it still hurts it's not like and it doesn't come right. all the time it's like randomly like i mean i think i got a fat comment when like on thanksgiving when we were visiting your parents it was like it comes up on my phone it's like a notification and it's like <laughs> something something you fat fuck and it's like ugh. Yeah. But I have to you I have to separate it, it because yeah. this person doesn't know me. You know, they don't I don't know, whatever. It still hurts though. And I think it this, you know, whatever this guy was doing cuz we've done it as well. Sure. It doesn't matter that, you know, that he wrote it like that you feel <laughs> weird in the SJW about it. But I think it does help some people that do that are trying to be helpful maybe yeah uh or or they're just being too blunt of or they're saying sure. it the wrong way sure yes and i think that's what he's i know there's ignoring the troll aspect yes. of it okay fine. there's critique and then there's criticism critique you know cri- or constructive criticism you yeah. know like critiquing is like oh hey you know i see that you were having some issues with this you know maybe next time try this you know and just be really nice about it right and that's helped me <laughs> when right. I was in art school. Sure. Uh, and I think, you know, cosplayers are always ready to learn, even no matter how long you've been doing this, you're always willing to learn about something new or, or a better yeah. aspect of it. And I think, I think that's where he's coming from. And maybe, you know, obviously maybe this, this post was sparked from a troll yeah. saying like, LOL, you suck. You know, like right. this looks like shit. And, and those people, you can't you can't do any, any, right and, and other than other than you know i mean what there is a degree of communication difference here like to, there is also like immature communication which the lo the sucks would 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 originate from but there's also you know an unrealistic expectation from this guy of like saying oh 
excuse me, sir, this denim is un... I don't know. I don't want to quote it, but that's sorry. The way the way he worded it was very... Um, it was basically just saying, like, oh, I saw you use denim. Have you nobody would ever write like that in a comment. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I had a look at your images, and perhaps denim might be Perhaps. I don't know. This guy's I British. He, uses, right. he might Fine. use different I'm phrases than I'm us. Sorry. I'm sorry. The the the. <laughs> it just sounded like what I what 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 I see on. I think you're like, taking it. Too, I know. I'm taking too, it too. I know, but too but, much. But, but I think the. I'm not saying much right now. I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just that you. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Yes, there is constructive criticism. There is a language barrier. It, but. This is a more systemic problem than we can solve on this podcast. We'll st- I want to leave it at that. Well, I want to say it will never be solved. Right. W- well, unless we go flip into that epi- season three, episode one of Black Mirror, where everybody can rate each other, then and that's <laughs> yes. that. Then we live this weird, creepy, fake life, right? Yes. Like I do. Trolls get, will always exist. Yes, though. and I I get that there are some people in this world that are not friendly and that have just this brash communication style. And it's just doesn't work for but them. But I've seen like. But you're not going to change. But these I've people. seen people be like. You know, oh, I don't think your makeup looks good for this cosplay. Uh-huh. OK, that's fine to think that that's you. Ha- you can have your own opinions all day long. Uh-huh. Right. But if you're going to say that, offer some helpful Something to go comments with like, hey, I think I think using fake eyelashes would make this you know make this look a lot better that's all you know what i mean sure. if, if 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 you want to if you see something and you think oh this doesn't look quite right and it could look better with blank then do, then comment that right. if if you want to. here's the thing those people will never change unless there is a repercussion for their actions which at this time and in but the what I'm foreseeable saying, <laughs> future there will never be a repercussion you're talking about trolls though but no no I'm, not even that just like helping people correct the way that they communicate I, I, I've, you know, I've been working on this for, on a few people for a while now, and it doesn't work. Like, it, there is no, like, unless somebody has an epiphany moment where they realize, wow, like what I'm friend. doing, yeah, is hurtful, <laughs> then they're not going to change what they do. So, like, sure. you can, you can maybe bitch this, and moan maybe and this say. Maybe would help, well, even no, if it, it's, this it is too generic. It's not targeting person. someone. Okay, a half a person, but nobody, nobody that I know. You get the sentiment of the post. Yes, I get the sentiment of the post, but (laughs) it's just, I'm very pessimistic on the outlook of this right now. And it's just like, uh, these people, some people do lack the ability to self reflect, right? Some people just can't think about themselves. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, so dark. Therapy session. (laughs) Holly, what do you see in this picture? No, I just, Angry stabbing butterflies. You know, wow, that's quite violent of you. I'm gonna say, as a whole, that the people that are active in the cosplay community, not people that look at pictures of cosplay and that's about it. You know what I mean? People sure. that are active in the community, in one form or another, are mostly positive. Sure, I'll say that. Like, there's not, you know, a lot of nice people out there in this community. It's the people that, like Reddit. <laughs> You know the, the the average person that knows of cosplay and maybe maybe will follow a cosplayer, but that's about it. Maybe if that, and then comes through and and says things, and those are the people that get under people's skin. Absolutely, because it's like, where do you get off? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. judging me. What are you doing? And you know, we we've had people like say like scary things. Oh yeah, absolutely. And it's just, but there's. Uh, you know block those people obviously immediately you don't need to respond to that right you need to report and block sure but yep. there's a weird there is a weird middle ground that i think of what he's getting at i okay yeah but yes like you said i understand you can't it's really hard to change people right you can say it all day long we've said it all we've said it over the years if you can't say nothing nice don't say nothing at all but who's it getting to right, right Am exactly. I, i'm preaching to well a choir. exactly it, this is almost like you know we're, we're we're talking to people the people that listen to this podcast we all have similar mentalities to some degree right we are all fairly <laughs> okay. regular people yeah. <laughs> no i know yes I, people that listen to this are just like you know they're nice right. people right so we're so, just we're preaching to no one <laughs> exactly exactly like I, I you know we would have yeah exactly that's the downside to the not downside but but you know the the people that want to listen to this and want to listen to our content have similar mindsets like if i went off 
you know, if I let's hear what is it like a Fox News radio thing? And we if we started the podcast off as that, we would attract a very different audience, and then preaching this to them probably wouldn't. I'm sorry, that's probably mean. Um, wouldn't work as well. But there okay, are, if you start off with, I, I, I'm, not, I hate, I'm not equivaling Fox to hateful, right? So don't. I'm just ignore the whole Fox comment. Okay. If we started something, yes, a little more hateful Charged. or yeah, like or a certain way. Yeah. Yes, and then saying this may. Yeah, uh, yeah, but but then yeah. Who I don't know. Yeah. Where was keep this minds, going? I don't know. Yeah. But keep your minds open. I would say you know be understanding that you know the internet is full of anonymous people and you know one person can generate 15 accounts and all that all those 15 <laughs> 20 accounts can come in and attack you like yeah. that's the, that's the problem like yeah. there is no cr- accountability i guess on the internet oh, yeah. so so people are free to willy-nilly but do what even, they want we've even witnessed it in person we have yes people will say things in person and and i think it's a it's a naivete almost where it's like who what do you think you're doing where it's like it's just a weird comment. Oh, that sash is supposed to be on the other side. Right. And the cosplayer sure. typically knows by that time. Right. By that time of day, yeah. by the time they figure it out, they already know and they've probably already been told sure. or they figured it out and they're embarrassed. You know what I mean? Whatever. Like we had a girl that drew something on the wrong side of her face. Right. And literally while we're photographing her, this guy's like, she has it on the other side of her face. And she's like, I know I, I put it on the, she In had the it like basically she put it on the mirror and she had like one of those like brain farts, you know, it happens. Uh, but I don't know, like, what they think they're doing when sure. they say that it's not necessarily m- mean they're not attacking them but what are how are you helping right no i know i know i know <laughs> i there's that's, that's what it is that's it's the like other how, thing are, how are you helping yeah. by just pointing that out yes yes they they know <laughs> thank you yeah and, thank you yeah that's Kay. what most people do most people go yeah i know thanks you know it's, yeah it's a it's a you know clap your original <laughs> clap so, <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> on that note, yeah. Thank you for listening. Um, our next episode is gonna be the 100th episode of the podcast. Uh huh. So there's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit longer than a week for the next podcast because we're gonna I'm gonna try to get Rebecca to come over okay. and I have some planning to do. So it'll probably be. You mean like, we have to move a mattress back into the bedroom? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Oh we wow. We have our our bedroom in the living room right now because we are remodeling our bedroom and it's a mess. Um. It'll be video. You get to see our face again. <laughs> so I'm trying to work out. I got to work out everything. Like, are we live streaming? You know, what are we doing? Uh-huh. Um. So, so I will make an announcement on that on our social media. Sure. Um. So you guys can watch that live if we're doing that. Everybody tweet at Holly or okay. at Elite Cosplay. So, so encourage her okay. to do a video. So oh, we are doing a video. Oh, great. For that one. I, I want to see everybody's faces. <laughs> it's a two way video. I hope you knew <laughs> that. I we'll watch be watching you. you in your living room. Um, living room nobody watches in their living room bedrooms i see you driving i I see you sewing (laughs) yeah i know you don't think i'm looking at you but i see you tilt Um, the light a little bit um i'm in the corner stop you're creepy (laughs) so yeah so that's that'll be our next episode and i'll be sure to post on twitter and and uh facebook about that instagram is kind of awkward with that but maybe um so yeah so once i get that all organized you will be hearing about it so yay we made it to 100 it only took three years. You know, <laughs> little breaks in between, but whatevs. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see you next time for our 100th episode. All right.